Thank God there's some lesbians in this joint. I know, right? Yes. And you've been like down with us for a long time, right? I um, have known I was a gay man since I was seven. Didn't come out till high school. I was canvassing when half of you weren't even out of the closet yet. Half of you weren't even born. So yes, I'm very proud of my relationship with the community, but I'm more grateful because after the year I've had, you know the gays were first to get it. Like there were drag queens, with Trump heads dressed as me, <clears throat> sorry, in Fire Island. I don't think anyone's here ever heard of a place called Fire Island. It exists. No, but you're around. What? You're... Uh -huh. I'm in the middle of an interview. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, you work for the Washington yeah. Blade? Yeah. Do you know that I was your guest at the White House correspondent? And I made a scene. I made a scene. You were On behalf of the gays. I got yelled at all those anti gay administrators. You should be thanking me. I want another key. Sorry. No, but you're rallying the troops now to the gay troops, yes. right? Yes, I'm rallying the gay troops because look, you know, I mean, I, I know this is an old timey expression and my dad was a sports person and I don't know a lot about sports, but it's shirts and skins, my friend. It is shirts and skins. It's time to pick a team and we want to live in a country where everyone's voice is equal and everyone's voice is heard, but let's cut the shit. We have a party that has Nazis and Nazi sympathizers at the highest level and <laughs> Guess who gets, goes first in that kind of a government? The gays. So, you know, we all have to be extra on high alert and all support each other. It's a time for us to realize who's who, are they gonna be on our team? Because the other team, they're in it to win, they're in it to kill, they're in it to destroy, they're in it to dismantle. And rolling back the rights of gay people is, has always been a priority with people like Mike Pence, if you remember his famous Indiana decisions. We kind of have to know who's on our team and who isn't. I'm sorry, and I never felt this way until this administration. But you look around, I mean, this year was, this was a year where I look around and I really found out who my friends were gay people <laughs> but I'm just saying and it's also very clear like we're also in a time when I think a lot of straight people and also Caitlyn Jenner for some odd reason are just kind of like putting their heads down and acting like the Trump administration is kind of like oh I don't want to pay attention to it it's just a bunch of noise no it affects your life it affects the life of your loved ones it affects the safety of your loved ones so yes um, Cher and I are fired up I don't know if you've seen her Twitter feed but she only refers to Trump as the emoji of a toilet. And darn it, that is activism too. That's right. Well, we got the divas on our side always, oh. right? We love you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Why Sam's got your back? Yeah. Thank you. Because you've always had ours. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. D earmuffs. Lesbians just need to run everything for a minimum of the next two years. I'll let you back in, boys. But I'm just saying, we'll let a few gay men in, but select. And they better behave. Because when you girls crack the whip, they better fucking get down. There. They better bark like I do. All right? When the lesbians say get down, I say woof. And the bears. I say that to the bears, too. All right, ladies. Well, we're on our knees for you, Kathy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. How are you? I'm good. My name is Pablo Pena. I'm with the